Yeah, next level we can get the follow up. That guy seems to have respawned. But I do need some more stone for the brick making process. Yeah, you can go over your carrying capacity, even well over your carrying capacity, but you're going to get slowed down and you spend stamina like crazy when you actually do spend stamina. But it's a valid thing to do when you're moving resources around. Stone, so 
might as speak as much as possible before returning. Of course, it, I had a pet or a follower with me, I could just place the 900 stone into its inventory. Because they don't get murdered by weight. And we'd be a bit more mobile in returning. But luckily this backflip exploit seems to work still. Down, we need 85, I think. Yeah, that should be just about enough. So, I think we need Armor's Bench finally. We don't have enough wood for the carpenter's bench. And what else we have? Artisan's table. We need to make a bed here as well. really need the artisan bench for anything at this point just yet once we are going to be using it for is uh, later on for some torches that you cannot handcraft in your inventory and uh, parchment or papyrus was it and possibly for some Ceramic jars. But yeah, we're starting to get ready with stuff. Need to make some light padding. I think boots were also required as well as uh, torso armor. Right, tanning bench. Did I have enough for it? I do. So we can start our letter and tar production as well. What about regular torches? Make four and turn them into standing torches when they're ready so that we can have some Nighttime illumination going.
basic light armor is very good. Because it weights quite little, but it increases carrying capacity. So if you want to carry stuff around, that's very ideal kind of armor for it. Well, if you can make it in the flawless tier, then that's even better. So let's put that on. And we'll make the normal... Normal gloves. Just to get the better light armor dodge. Instead of using that medium armor on our hands. Because it's the same stat bonus for it. This some difference in uh, how much they protect, but dodging is good at avoiding all the damage, whereas bad dodging means you're still going to get hit for most of the damage. So that's nice. And it's kind of dark, so we'll place those. Standing torches at the corners to provide some static light. Well, it's dynamic light, but close enough. And now we should have enough for the blacksmith bench as well. that we get to make our iron pick and go harvest some more iron stone to be smelted. So we are progressing at a pretty decent pace now. The iron pick is going to help a lot with getting more stone from regular stone nodes and uh, we'll also get the iron hatchet for increased wood production going soon. Soon after that. It's not really all Feng Shui, but it'll do. Uh, why aren't we supposed to have enough iron for that pick? What happened? Did I miscalculate? Yeah, I probably did. Oops. Well, let's rectify that situation. Yeah, I calculated with 140 iron stone when the bench itself would have taken 150. So that's my bad. I think that should be just about enough. And what else? We'll place the tanning bench. Place it here for now. And it's healed by bark and it converts stuff into leather basically. So we're going to take the reptile hides from this bench and start processing them into leather. Actually, did I have the gazelle head here or somewhere? The campfire, maybe. That's also going to give us some leather. When processed. But it's usually reptile hide that they end up using to make leather. Because it's so plentiful. 
So the head gives two leather. But reptile hide gets converted <laughs> one to one. There should be 15 iron bars in total coming, so it's not enough. I'm going to need some more. Some more iron stone from these. I thought I had six bars ready when I harvested, but apparently I only had less than that. have respawned apparently. We'll uh, save them for when we have a uh, tyrant tool so we can get more stone from them. It's actually a significant boost. Just need to leave some branches here for Weapon shafts, basically. And, uh... Well, we could start our gruel production as well. Because we are not that far away from making a, uh... Wheel of Pain. So now we can probably pretty much leave the stone pick behind and concentrate on just using the iron pick and repairing it when it gets damaged to do our harvesting until we get the tool upgrade at level 26. Now that we have a faster source of uh, stone because of the increase in efficiency in harvesting them, the better tool. It becomes faster to build up our base. But now we are also getting more ready to raid this uh, pirate base. Watch your flanks! Me and me mates are thick as thieves. You'll all dance for me now, or swing for me later. Pokey pokey, mate. Can't believe it. Killed by a bleeding landsman. Actually... I might want to make the... Altar to set quite soon to start harvesting the hearts from these guys. Unfortunately, it's going to take some room from the base, and it has a nasty habit of destroying stuff when upgraded to the next version. But I don't seem to have enough resources for it just yet. So we'll ignore it for now and slowly try and pull them one by one from the base. The next usually aggro both but the other one's sitting down so you can usually just draw the other guy away. He looks like a tanner. <laughs> Tanner 3! Now, oh, Black Rhino Head. 
That's nice. We just don't really need it for now. It's used. Uh, it's used in a cooking recipe later on in the game. But there's seven iron bars. Pretty nice. And now we pull the archer. hide behind this so his attacks won't connect just yet. Also a chest in here that you can loot, but that other archer might aggro due to proximity if you do. Oh. 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 